Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 349. Okay, I'm just going to get this out of the way right now. This is the YouTube. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is one of the YouTubes where I had to keep I had to stay quiet. Couldn't say a word. Only this week was I allowed to start sneak peeking stuff. This is the Marabou Alcohol Ink YouTube. And this very, I know this is the exclusive launch here in the United States. This very well could be the exclusive launch worldwide because I don't even physically have the product here. I have quality control samples to play with. The names are handwritten on the bottles. So <laughs> I'm very excited to bring it to you. But before I get to that, I wanna tell you a few things. One, we had a glitch in the system with um, exporting our software, our winner, winner, chicken dinners to or our names so we could pick winner, winner, chicken dinners. So we'll have to announce the two winners from last week next week. So next week, I'll announce four people who have won a $25 gift card to scrapbooking made simple. And I'm so sorry. And Elena's so sorry. But technology is what it is. And sometimes it's wahoo. And sometimes it is Kachu, <laughs> without question. <laughs> so today, oh, and I want to give you an update where we are. We are slowly but surely bringing people back. I need to let everybody know, as the county of Los Angeles reopens and the city of Los Angeles, millions and millions and mil I mean, the county of Los Angeles or the city of Los Angeles, I think is 8 million people all by itself, not to mention the county of Los Angeles was that represents eight, like 88 other cities. As they are opening up, as things are being reopened and people are able to go out, we are seeing a spike in cases again, in COVID-19 cases again. And there's talk on the news where we haven't heard it for so long about in two weeks time, we could be out of beds in ICU because we're having, we're seeing such spikes again as things open up and this was they knew that this would happen and this was a, a concern and we're just gonna have to wait and see how things go but that means that we stay closed here at scrapbooking made simple my retail store is not going to reopen until I know that when we open we can stay open it would be just horrible to bring everybody have have the customers come back and only to find out that three weeks later we're closing our store again so for you local peeps just bear with us we promise we'll open our doors just as soon as i know that when i see you i'm providing you the safest atmosphere possible and that the cases have started we we, we county of los angeles has not flattened the curve no we are still very much like this and we have I think we have 63,000 cases and 3,000 people have passed away. So I'm just taking it slow and I'm trying to be responsible and prudent and thoughtful and considerate to my staff and my in-store customers. I will reopen. There's no question about that. It's just a matter of when and hopefully in the next coming weeks we'll get a better feel for what's going to happen. But if the cases continue to go like this, we're going to wait until they start doing this again. So that's where we are with that. As for you online peeps, well, calendar tabs are out the door, going out the door as quickly as we possibly can. Mr. SMS is doing quality control. He's, he's doing quality control. So if there's a problem with your order and you get something improperly, just tell me. I won't tell him. <laughs> just send send me the email and I'll take care of it like that. We just won't mention it to him. <laughs> I'm glad to have him here. It's good for him to focus on something, to have something to it, it's it's a good this is a good thing putting him in the quality control department. Well, he is the quality control department. Let's just say what it is. So next we've got as the calendar tabs go out, we are halfway uh oh two-thirds of the way pulling all the orders with the spellbinders kits on them and then we will start shipping those when all the calendar tabs go out and we have just started organizing everything to get ready to start pulling all the kaleidoscope dyes the simply defined kaleidoscope dyes and alcohol inks ha perfect timing because those 
were the old alcohol inks and these are the new ones. So just to give you an update as to where we are. I would like to say that we're gonna, I'm, I'm trying to get everybody, I'm trying to get everybody back here within the next, it, it, new staff, old staff within the next, uh, by mid-July, I'm hoping to be fully restaffed and I'd like to be caught up sometime in August. I really would, that's our goal, is to be back to our normal shipping time frame in August. And I know some of you are like, really, August? Yes, I'm sorry. Southern California, County of Los Angeles, epicenter of COVID-19. Lots of companies in Arizona didn't even close down, not even for a day. They were able through all of this to keep normal operating procedures. Lots of states opened a month ago. Not us. We're still we're still getting ramped up and getting back into getting back into things, but as we are doing that, we see more cases. So Hang tight, we're doing the best we can, I promise you. It is not for lack of trying, but I won't be irresponsible. I just can't and I hope you appreciate that. You mean a lot to me. You mean everything to me. <laughs> and we just have to do right by the by, by, by all of our staff and you and our families. So, okay, now, just to tell you a little bit about Marabou Michael. So Marabou Michael and Marabou Mary came to the store I can't remember if it was in January or December of last year. And they brought this suitcase full of stuff and they pulled everything out. And that's my playtime. They put it on out and Marabou Michael, he doesn't even say anything. He comes in the night before the meeting, <laughs> gets here first thing in the morning. And we are here all day long because Marabou being a ink company, a paint company, um, they have so much stuff to play with. And they're out of Germany, everything's made in Germany, and they are considered a fine art company. But don't make, don't, don't let that get in your head, fine art. All fine art means is you are using the best quality product on the market. You don't have to be a fine artist to use fine art quality product, no. In fact, it's even better when you're not a fine artist using the best quality. It's even better because as you're learning, you're learning with the, the, the best product. So you're gonna get the best results even if you're brand new. Don't let fine art scare you. It's not your level of talent, it's the quality of the product. When somebody's talking about a fine art paint or a fine art pastel, they're talking about the quality of the product, not the talent of somebody using it. Oh my gosh, if if I worried about the talent, I would never pick up anything that said fine art on it, honest to goodness. So Marabou is out of Germany and they make beautiful product. And the last time we had their alcohol inks, they I, I introduced Rainbow a couple, gosh, was it a year ago? Their Rainbow. And when you put this alcohol ink down on paper, it danced. It absolutely danced. So when Marabou Michael and Marabou Mary got here and they pulled out all their samples, they had the marbling, which was new. I couldn't tell you anything about until we did it. And these alcohol inks. There are four new glittery alcohol inks. There are five new metallic inks that oh glisten there are four neon inks and there is a white i played for hours and and all marabou michael does is he kind of just sits back and i think he's got he's got his laptop out and and he doesn't say much of anything he just kind of mm, 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 mm. he's a really sweet guy but he's typing notes of everything I'm doing until I get to something that I thought of that's, I, I would, I, in my mind, you know, mad scientist Stacy, and I pull something out and it works and I'm like, you need to delete that off your computer because no, you can't take that one back. That one's mine. <laughs> and that's kind of what happened in this YouTube. So when I was in Germany and I did my, Facebook feature from Germany from their booth, I couldn't say anything then either. It was so hard because nobody had seen any of this product. Nobody, so I just had to, but now I don't, I'm very happy. <laughs> so today we are gonna be playing with new matte black craft plastic from Graphics, Swoon. 
Oh, swoon. Beautiful. I've got uh, Yupo paper from Couture Creations that I'm going to show you. I've got I've got vinyl to play with. I, I think that there's just a lot for everybody and there is every price point here. We're going to be playing with things as low as $1.25 and I'm going to be playing with dyes and with the alcohol inks and we've got the alcohol inks at sale on sale for 30% off and they're reasonable to begin with. So I, I've got things for everybody. If you are a crafter on a budget, it is this is good for you. You are, I think, going to love what you see because you are going to be able to afford it. And then when you get it, you'll have such fun playing with it and you won't feel left out. So there's lots of good stuff here. And like I said, I've got things for, for everybody and for every level of crafter. You do not need to be experienced to do this. If this is your first time crafting, oh, do I have a treat in store for you. <laughs> okay, so being that I don't have a winner, winner, chicken dinner to announce, sorry, glitches, I am going to go ahead and tilt down. We're gonna get started for today. I hope you have a good time. I've got a lot of wonderful new product to show you. I'm looking at it all, it's everywhere. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna tilt down, we're gonna get started. And I think I'm going to start by showing you the colors of the alcohol inks before we start to play. I am limited on how many I have to sell. They aren't even here in the U.S. yet. They're almost here in the U.S., but by the time we're ready to ship them, they'll definitely be here. But I do have a limit as to how many I have because we're taking a large portion of that for shipment. Um, so, okay, I'm going to tilt on down. We're going to get started. It's good to see everybody. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are safe. I hope that you are breathing some fresh air, even if that's from your own backyard or the balcony of an apartment or wherever it is you call home. All right, down we go, bye. Okay, and let's tilt on in. So we keep bringing more people back and we're hiring more people. I don't like to, I, I, I like hire, I don't like the interview process. I just, I'm not good, I'm not a good interviewer. I just am not. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I guess to me, oh, so here's the sample. Or here's a sample since there's no free in-store make and take. Beautiful, that's all done with alcohol ink. And then Claire cut the silhouettes. It's beautiful, right? So pretty and so easy. So, okay. So we are hiring. <laughs> so I should just tell you this. My thought process on hiring. Oh, gosh, that's very close. Let me go back. My thought process on hiring is that and why I don't like to why I don't like to do the interviews is because we do ask for a resume. We really do. But I pay almost no attention to somebody's resume. I really don't. To me, and this could be wrong, but to me, all a resume tells me is where you've been. It doesn't tell me who you are. I need to know who you are, not where you've been. You could be the best person in the world and this could be your very, very first job and your resume isn't gonna look perhaps as good as somebody who's got oodles of experience but does not have a very kind personality, is not a very kind person. So my interviews are usually very weird. <laughs> There's usually a lot of talking, can you tell? Because then, I get to know the person, not necessarily the paper. So could be wrong, but that's the way I do it. All right, so enough about me. So if you do ever interview with us, chances are I took about a half a minute look at your resume. <laughs> okay, so there's our sample, and let's talk about pretty, pretty colors. Okay, so craft plastic. Let's grab some craft, pla well, let's grab Yupo and craft plastic. This is craft plastic. What is it? It is not paper. It is a plastic. It really is. It is this fabulous matte black. You know craft plastic because we've done it before. We did it in the white 
and we get it from graphics and graphics has done the six by six size for us and it's just beautiful it does die cut oh look at my fingers are already inky it does die cut but you will absolutely need to use a precision base plate to get through it because again it's not paper it's plastic no tearing it then we have yupo and Yupo is a very specialized type of paper that allows you to alcohol ink on it. Now, if you remember, um, I alcohol inked on the Sizzix Opulent Ivory Glitter Paper. And so if you have that coming, you're going to be able to use all of the alcohol inks that I'm going to show you today on that. Yupo, it just, it, it takes the alcohol ink and it gives you a little more open time, a little more play time than perhaps other papers that uh, are a non-porous type of paper. Alcohol ink is just that, it's alcohol. So it evaporates very, very fast and it needs to go on non-porous types of materials. So glass and plastic and acetate and um, metal, anything non-porous, you're going to be fine. If you were using it on regular white paper, I don't have any regular white, do I have any regular white paper? Uh, probably not. So let's just, none of this is regular white paper. Okay, so while well, I do have a paper towel, not the best, but it'll do. Regular white paper, alcohol ink is literally just going to absorb in. It gives you nothing. It doesn't move. It gives you nothing. You have to put it on something that is non-porous. So again, glass, plastic, metal, acetate, which is a plastic, but anything vinyl. Non-porous is what we're going to be using. And Yupo has a non-porous uh, attribute to it so that it gives the alcohol some open time to move around but will still dry just like, and it doesn't absorb all the way in. Can you tear Yupo? It's kind of hard. So it's not really a plastic plastic, but it's not really a paper paper. It's kind of a hybrid of everything, but it is very cool. And then you've got the craft plastic in the matte black, which is beautiful. So I thought that I would start with these two and that I would show you some of the colors on both so you could see what works best with what um, that one goes there so I think I'm going to start with some of the metallics and do you hear that little that little ball in the metallics and in the glitters you need that little ball to go 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 because there is a mica on the bottom of it and you want to make sure that that mica is fully shaken because you want the most beautiful effect from it. So let's see. Now when you get yours, the top is going to be closed. There's no opening. You will need to take a push pin and literally push in to get that top to open. Otherwise, when they get to you, um, So this one, we're closed, right? Yep, this one's closed. Oh, good, you can see. See, the liquid's only going so far because I need to stick a push pin in there to open it up before it will come out. So there's no way of these leaking to you. Hopefully, there's no way of these leaking. And like I said, I have the prototypes. There's the label. <laughs> okay, so let's see what my metallic green looks like. And then let's do Did I shake it up well enough? I didn't hear the little ball. There's the ball. I want to make sure I hear that and then let's see what that looks like and we're just going to pour that there and let it go on down and then let's grab the yellow
And then let's pour that there and let's let it walk on down a little bit. And the blue, I have a purple, but it's not open yet. Ooh, all over me. And let's let it walk on down. So I haven't added any alcohol extender to these and I just use um, actual alcohol. Uh, where's mine? So these are the colors in the, in the metallic on white. And I haven't mixed in any, I use my, my alcohol that I get from the drugstore, 91%. But I want to show you what the same colors look like, well, on the black. So I've already got blue there, but let's start with the green. I don't know if you can see it dancing, but it's beautiful. We'll do blue next just because I accidentally dropped some blue there. Shake, 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 shake. you see the color kind of moving and dancing and again I haven't added any alcohol to extend this or make it go uh, even further let's do the yellow a little goes a long way a couple drops is more than enough you can blend them into each other and but look at on the black and hopefully you can kind of see it dancing into each other it's pretty magical and then let's do the pink how does it come off your hands well you need to wash your hands a couple times you can do your um, you can wash your hair or you can take some alcohol to try and get it off. Oh my God, that thing is just gorgeous. Look at them running into each other and moving around. Those are the metallics. I should have made these run into each other, huh? But now you can now you can see the pearlescence of them. Can you see that sheen to them? They're beautiful and they're dry. And right now, all I'm trying to do is show you some color. Now the neons, let's do the neons next. Neons don't have any metallic or glitter to them. So you don't have to shake them nearly as much because you're not trying to mix anything into them. But there's my neon blue. And then let's throw a, some of my neon orange in there. And again, I'm just trying to show you color so you can see the color before we start to play. Love that pink. And just kind of let it walk on down and mix together and blend and make a little bit of happiness. And then the last one I have is my neon yellow. And again, no alcohol yet for an extender. so pretty. So you've got neons versus pearlescence. Now I'll put my neons here, but I want you to see what happens. There's my blue. There's my yellow. You're like, but Stacy, I can't see them. 
That's right, because it doesn't have the pearlescent effect or a glitter effect, the liquid is completely transparent, which means you can see it beautifully on the white, but you can't see it on the black. And you're like, oh, that's so disappointing. I know, right? I know the pearl you can see, the metallics you can see on the white because it's got that pearlescent metallic built into it and it shows up beautifully on the black, but neon, not so much until, until you bring in the white. And let's just run a little bit of white across the top and let's let it let's add a little more and get it going a little bit of white now look at that white on the black that's some really good white huh and if I want I can add a few more drops a little goes a long way the drops you don't need a lot of drops to make things happen. But you're like, hmm, okay, well now you've got white, uh-huh. And now let's take the pink neon. And now, now, ooh, now look at it run. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's fab. And let's take the yellow neon. And I don't really have to shake them because there's no there's no mica in there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yay. So if you want to use the neons, you need to grab yourself the white alcohol ink. If you want to intensify anything on a dark color, you use the white as your base. The white is beautiful. This is like a must have for any kind of alcohol ink. If you've got all the originals, which are mostly transparent, there's just a few metallics, and you want to be able to put it on black paper, you need that white. and you really can just play. What a difference, right? What a difference. The neons look great on white, but without having a ba oh, without having a base. Look at the colors I'm making. Eee, doesn't that look fab? Without having a white as a base, this is what you get. And that is kind of boo-hoo if you didn't know better and you weren't expecting it and you bought the neons and you wanted to play with a dark color, uh, plastic or glass or metal or whatever you're using and it didn't work. That is why. Okay, so then let's play with the glitters. So right now, all I'm doing is showing you colors, just so you have a reference. So I'm going to put these aside. And I'm going to open up another piece of Yupo. And Yupo is uh, uh, the type of paper. Um, Couture Creations is by no means the only people that sell Yupo paper. Heavens no. I'm pretty sure that Tim Holtz has his own kind of Yupo paper and there's just lots of it out there. You just have to pick the one that works best for you. They're all similar to each other. So maybe go by price point if that's what matters to you or by size. I just can't get over how fabulous that looks. I just, I, I just really can't. <laughs> so now let's play a little bit with the glitters. And let me pull out the original rainbow. This is the original rainbow. This has been out, we've had it before. There it is on white. 
Okay. There it is on black. Can you see it dancing? It literally sparkles and winks at you and says, hello, I am pretty fabulous. And it is, it has every right to say that. But then Marabou brought out four new colors. <laughs> shiny blue green i mean it's literally written on the bottle i mean that these are so new shiny blue green so these are kind of color shifters again on the white Meh. but these are color shifters oh get a good 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 shake So when you look at it, I don't know if I can get it. Any, oh yeah. So when you look at it one way, it's one color. But when you look at it another way, oh yeah, can you see that? It shifted colors. Oh my gosh, is that fabulous? <laughs> it's magic in what it is. It is magic. It changes colors based off the way you hold your paper. Okay, so there's one of them. This is a new one. And this one, shake, 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 is green gold. Okay. So again, I'll put it on the white just so you can see. Meh. And it's going to change colors depending on how I move it. But look at it dance. Oh, there it goes, changing colors. Oh, yeah. Depending on how I move my paper, it's a color shift. And they're beautiful. And yes, they totally blend with the regular colors. And then let's see what I've got my next one. This one is oh, gold green. I don't know. Let's see what this one does. Violet blue, blue, green, gold. Oh, what's that one? Shiny red, violet, is that what this one is? Oh, I don't know. I don't think that's the right one. I think this one needs to go. Let's do this one first, because that one's not open. <laughs> Swoon. And again, depending on how you move, oh, there, it just shifted. It just shifted to gold, and now it's back to pink. And then you've got gold going on, and then it's back to pink. You have such options with these. Let me see if I can get this one open. What did I do with my little push pin over here? So. I'm going to push down as hard as I can with my little push pin. If you have trouble with your fingers, have somebody help you. And I just want to do straight down if I can. Oh, there we go. I hope I didn't go through the side. I think I did. We'll see. Yep, I went through the side. I am not the best at this. I don't have the strength or the aim. <laughs> Just want to push it down to open it. Open, open, open. So they seal it that way you don't lose any. Oh, that felt good. You don't lose any of the liquid while it's sitting in storage because it is alcohol based. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. So those are those are the new glittery colors. 
And yes, they absolutely blend into each other. So I could do here, and I could do here, and I could add a little down here. And I could just let them start to run into each other. And they will be beautiful. But as I said, look at they dance. As I said, you can mix them with other colors. You could take your, I don't know, your metallic blue and throw some of that down and so I've got some metallic blue down there just kind of hanging out and then I could throw some of this in there and they will blend and move together And then, of course, they've got that neat little tool now where you go and it helps blend them and move them. So you take the little tool and this is a Couture Creations one, but I know there's lots of them out there. And you move it and you blend it. So I wanted to show you colors first. This one's so pretty. I wanted to show you colors first to give you an idea of what the new ones are. But then we need to play. But I mean, my gosh, you can die cut this and just make beautiful, happy things. So now it's time to play. And I'm gonna put this aside because these are the glitters only on white and it's like, meh, eh, mm. I know we have a black, is this a, is there a dark black? I don't know that I have one open, but I know I have a dark black. They make a, I wonder if we did a black. Did they do a black? I don't know. I have a dark black. I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing you a dark black. I don't know if they've already had it or if this is to come. Oh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Nobody told me not to show it. <laughs> so if I was on white paper, Instead of using like the white on the black, I can use the black on the white to make my base. So then I get some sparkly, shiny. Oh, see, I didn't shake it. Oh, oh. I wanted you to see it dance. Is it moving? I can't tell, but it totally winks at you and says, hello. You're like, yay. So I don't know, we'll have to see if I was supposed to show the black or not. I'm not 100% positive. Or maybe the black was already out. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but there you go. There are some of the colors and how you can see the difference between them based off of what kind of or what the the color of your original paper or glass or metal is going to be and that white truly is just like the crystal is to um your marabou marbling the white is to your alcohol inks because it gives you dimension and it gives you the opportunity to change the saturation of your alcohol inks oh yes okay so now let's play with Let's play, not that that wasn't playing and we're gosh, 40 minutes in and I haven't made anything or done anything. Okay, what's the first thing I wanna do? I think I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna start super easy is what I think I'm gonna do. And I'm going to play with vinyl. So these are vinyl sheets. I used to carry them under my own brand but found it to be cheaper to buy it just direct from another company who sells them for a better price than I could. You get two sheets of straight vinyl. It's adhesive on the back. You can die cut it. You, and it's the same vinyl that is used to make our peel off stickers. 
So instead of getting one sticker sheet for $1.25, you're going to get two blank sheets for $1.50. And that allows you to do what you want to do. It's entirely up to you. And they're very, very simple to use. So today, why don't I play with, um, why don't I play with some of the blue, 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 and some green maybe. And I'm gonna literally just put my colors down. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm gonna drop some color. And shake, shake, shake. And I'm gonna drop some color. And I might even add some green. Now I could take a spouncer and spounce with it, or I've got this little handy tool that's going to let me move it all the way around and fill in all of those empty spaces and blend my color. Do you need the little handy tool? No. Is it nice? Yes. Can you do it other ways? Sure, you can get a straw. But it does let you move it and it really does blend it nicely. And you could take some alcohol. Now, this is the same alcohol that's in this bottle. Shh, I put it in that brand new fine tip bottle that I got the other week, I showed you last week, because then I can totally control how much alcohol I'm putting. And when you put alcohol, what it does is it reacts with it reacts with, and you can see that it's starting to kind of spread a little bit more, and it's making some splatter marks, and the alcohol gives you opportunity to move things. So if I put some more on, because I've got that alcohol base down, it's gonna stay open a little longer, and it's gonna run a little bit more. So I happen to just like to let things run. But I know some of you like your little, um, there's the blender brush or the blender spouncer and straws and the little guy here. So I'm just using it on white, inexpensive white vinyl that's sticky backed. And I'm just kind of pushing it everywhere I want it to go. And I can add more color if I want to add more color. And I can drop color if I just want to drop color. I can just drop color. And just let that move all by itself. Move it in, blend it around, move it down. It's yours to do with as you see fit. There's no right and there is no wrong. You wanna move it a little faster? Give it a little bit of a... These little gadgets have been out for a while now, so you may already have this. All right, so look at the background I'm making. Pretty cool, right? But you're saying, okay, now what to do with it? Well, I need to let it dry because it's still a little wet. I've got a lot going on there. And I could take my little, my little spouncer or my little blower and literally use it as almost like a little blow dryer to blow dry this thing dry a little faster, spread out some of the bigger puddles that I've got going on. Okay, I think that's good. And then I can take um, black paper and a die. This was one of my older dies. 
um, what is it called? It is number 653273. It's a guy thing and it's ancient oak. So one of my older dies, I can move this off to the side, bring over my die cut machine, which I've got my Sizzix Big Shot here. Let's see if I've got a piece of black paper big enough. Ooh, ha ha. If you've never seen die cutting before, this little metal thing is gonna make that shape cut out of that paper. This is a Sizzix Big Shot machine. I am using a multi-purpose platform. My tabs are completely closed, which means my platform is uh, completely together. I'm putting it in there. I am using a precision base plate. This happens to be, I think, volume number two or th one or two. I don't even have my Chrome one handy. Not sure where my Chrome one went. It's here somewhere. I have got my paper, which is just basic cardstock. It's simply defined 100 pound cardstock. I've got my die with the ridges. See the ridges? Facing against the paper. This is a wafer style die because it is wafer thin. I put it in. I'm gonna put it at a slight little angle because this I don't want my die which has a parallel edge to the roller to hit that roller because it'll go kafunk. So I'm gonna turn it at a slight angle, put my cut plate on top, and I'm using my cut plate because the pressure is gonna be so much that it's going to leave a little indent, and I'm gonna send it on through. Creaks and cracks are okay. Oh, I didn't even, oh, there's a creak. Now I am going to rotate my die because it is a um, intricate die. And so I need to rotate it. I just want to make sure all the little bits and pieces fall out easy peasy. I'm off center somewhere. I can feel it. There we go. And let's see what I get. All my little bits and pieces are falling out, including the ones that were there before. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on Mr. SMS's floor. And instead of waiting for me to pull out all the little bits and pieces, by the magic of TV, I happen to have one already done with all the little bits and pieces pulled out. I'm gonna put that one aside. And I'm gonna bring this guy back. He's all dry. It's really pretty, right? Wouldn't that be beautiful for underwater? But I can also put my die cut right on top of it. So let's just cut it down a little bit. I'm going to save this and let's grab a let's grab some micro dots simply sticky micro dots this is a sheet of micro dots it's adhesive so let's pull this is the one thing I would change if I could oh there we go so one side has nothing on it. One side has hundreds of thousands of little dots. You never throw away the side that has nothing on it. You keep that for as long as you're gonna use this because I'm gonna put my die cut down. I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna burnish and anywhere, anywhere my die is not, see all that empty space? All those little dots are gonna stay there. So the only dots that are gonna stick are where the paper is. Hmm. Got a little doohickey on my doohickey. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna pull this up and I'm not gonna get rid of this because all these dots are exposed. I wanna save them for later. 
You can see all the dots on the back. I'm going to bring this on over. Line it on up and put it on down. Now, because the vinyl that I used is self-adhesive, I'm ready to go. All I have to do now is get this separated. Line this up here. And no fuss, no muss, no wet glue. Ta da! That is how easy it is to use the vinyl. And it comes, right now we've got it in five or six colors. And it's two sheets. And you can die cut it. Wait, I'll get to that. I'll get to the die cutting part. Holy smokes, artichokes. Bam. You have to use alcohol inks on something non-porous. So I couldn't just take white paper and get the same look. It would just absorb right into that white paper. You have to use something non-porous. Beautiful. So then what if you're not a die cutter and you're like, Stacy, I don't have a big shot machine. I don't have dies. I don't have die cuts. I love the alcohol inks, but um, I don't have any of that. Okay, no big deal, let's play. So, what do I want to do? I could take um, on, I could take it on this, or let's see what I've got over here. Peel-offs. Remember I showed, you've, you've seen these, many of you just got these in the mail. We've been shipping these out. Peel-offs, they're vinyl stickers. They're very cool vinyl stickers. And what if I did, what if I did like this one maybe? And I pulled it off. Vinyl sticker, very clingy to you. Very, very clingy. That's what vinyl does. It kind of clings to you. And it's sticky on this back side because it is a sticker. It doesn't tear very easily, not at all. But it is, um, it is very sticky. So you have an option. You can either take a little spit and put it on the back. You can take a baby wipe if you would prefer and get your finger wet. Maybe you've got a little dauber of of uh, water, but you need to put a little bit of moisture on the back of that peel off because that's what's going to make it allow for you to touch it, for you to um, move with it so that it's not clinging all over to you. Now I could put this down here and again I'm on, I'm on my them stuck 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 there we go I'm on my white vinyl I could put that there there now it feels can you can you hear it, it it's raised the peel off sticker is slightly raised like it's embossed and I've put it down on white vinyl and now I'm going to use my alcohol inks to color it. And you're like, okay, but if you do that, you're going to get it everywhere, Stacy. I know, but not really. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, no. Okay, coolest little things. Ozzy Andrew came out with these. You get, I think, 50 of them. Is there 50 of them to a pack? 
Oh, you guys really need to do bigger labels. Uh, blending tips. I don't know if it says how many you get. I think there's one, two, yeah, 50, because there's 10 per row. 50 of these little guys. Let's take out a few so I have some to play with. Oh, what are these? You would never think that they're as fabulous as they are. I did not think that they were as fabulous as they are until I started to play. So, got my yellow, because you know me, right? Got my neon yellow, kind of bright, but okay. I'm just gonna put a little down on my, my craft mat. Then I'm gonna take up my little detail brush. I'm gonna pick some up. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to quickly paint this whole thing yellow. And I mean quickly, like I'm just slapping it in there. Trying to stay inside the lines. That's the whole point of the little detail brushes that you can get it in there and stay inside the lines. So all I care about are the outside lines. I don't care about the inside lines because the sticker is black. So you saw what happened when I put neon on black, it just disappeared. So I don't have to worry about being overly careful when I'm putting it on inside. I can go over all of those black lines and not worry about it because you saw what happened to neon on black. It did nothing. Oop. I'm just gonna color, 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 color. So yes, okay, you don't have a die cutting machine. You don't have dies, I get it. You have stickers and at $1.25, they are reasonable, well-made quality product. And I have lots and lots of YouTubes on how to use these stickers. In fact, I love them so much, I came out with words that are my very own sentiments that I did and I have, I'll be doing shapes in the future. Okay, so. Got some yellow going on and you're going, uh-huh, that's not very attractive, but could you do this with a Sharpie pen? Absolutely, you could do this with a Sharpie pen. No problem. Sharpie pens are um, permanent. Permanent ink stays on non-porous things. When you're having to write your name on your lunchbox or your child's lunchbox or your husband's or your wife's lunchbox, what do you do? You grab a Sharpie or a Bic marker because it stays on there. When you need to put something on your on your glass or you need to mark something on a, on a porcelain, back of a porcelain plate, whatever it is, a Sharpie or a Bic marker. And that will color these too. You could go in there and color them as well. But we've got alcohol ink here. What would we want to play? Now I've got my neon pink. Make a little puddle. Pick up a little. And now I can go in there. And same thing. I can just kind of color all over. And there is no rhyme and there is no reason to how I am coloring. It is just a, a little bit of a hot mess going on. I'm just trying to get some of that pink kind of everywhere. And I think that's pretty good. So it kind of looks hot mesh. It doesn't look so great. But then I can come back with my yellow. Hello, yellow. A little bit of yellow down on my craft mat. Come back in and just start playing with that yellow. And again, I am no rhyme, no reason. I am not being gentle. I am not being thoughtful. I am just getting it in there and mixing some color. I can even blend the two if I want. So if you are not a great colorer, no problem. 
This is your happy place because you're working with an inexpensive vinyl sticker and alcohol ink that literally is going to last you a super long time. It goes very, very far. A little drops will do ya. Now, can you clean these little doodads? Um, sure you can. You can sit them, put them in a little bit of alcohol and it'll clean them out. I just kind of keep them per color family and let it go. So I am literally painting with alcohol ink. And because I've got such a super fine tip on these, I can stay within my lines without any problem. And then if I want, I can come back. Maybe I want a little more pink in the center. I can add a little, put a more a little pink down. And I can really pink those center ones up. Maybe I want a little more yellow somewhere. You have options. This is for you to play with. What I want to tell you is think long, think wrong. Don't spend too much time worrying. Just get it down there. And it's beautiful. And it's fast. And then I could cut this off, put a sentiment there, back it, finish coloring it. I mean, I have options. I have lots of things that I could do with it. But so super simple. What if I wanted to add a little bit of glitter to my to my little flower my, my leaves what if I wanted to take a little bit of maybe this no not the pink um what's this one not the blue um what's this one how about this one I don't know give it a good shake Drop a little down. Can you see it dance? I hope you can see it dance. And I could just literally come in and paint some right on my black leaves. And the nice thing is if it does get a little on the white, it really doesn't show because I showed you what it looks like on the white. But then, I don't know if I can get a picture of it. Then I've got a little bit on my black just to add a little something, a little special touch to that. And yes, I could go in and I could drop some of that in my flower. Absolutely, I could. and start to make my flower sparkle too. It's up to you. With these little doohickeys, I know they're not called doohickeys, Andrew, Ozzy Andrew. He's like, really, Stacy? Yes, Ozzy Andrew. With these little doohickeys. First time he showed me this, I said, are you kidding me? He said, no, really, they're good. I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> he said, no, really, they're good. <laughs> and I said, well, I have to play with them and figure out what to do with them because I don't think I'm using them for what they were meant for, but that's okay, look at that. All off a vinyl sticker. And remember, not the straightest cut I've ever done. Okay, what if I took um, I know I have them here somewhere. What if I took, ha, what if I took these? Ha, ha, ha. And what if I took this one? 
And what if I just dropped it right on the sticker? These are the same vinyl stickers. Same vinyl stickers as this. So what if I smooshed it around? Oh. Kind of looks like a hot mess. You think it's dry? I don't know. I'm using this to dry it. <laughs> it's meant to make it go squish, squish, squish. Sound effects required. Squish, squish, squish. But it's also a really good dryer. <laughs> and what if I peeled it off? And I put it up there in the corner and it's got that shimmer and shine and sheen. It's not black anymore. Now it's got a goldy blacky. I mean, it's beautiful. And then I could take my paper and because this is a sticker, I've got a sticker on top of a sticker. So I didn't use any die cuts at all. I didn't use embossing powder. I used stickers. If you are new to crafting and you are like, oh, this is out of my league. This is so not out of your league. It's just a sticker. Oh, I didn't get it down straight. All right, well, you'll forgive me. And there's the beginning of your card. There's a uh, 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 embellishment for your layout. There's a tag with a gift card on the back. Stickers, who knew? <laughs> well, actually I did. <laughs> so this is if you don't have the die cuts to do something like this. But remember, I said that that vinyl, you can die cut and you can. Let's grab some of that black, beautiful craft plastic. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm going to play. Oh, I'm going to play. I'm just going to kind of push this around just a little bit. Let's add a little bit more of something else. Okay, if it doesn't come off, that means the ball is stuck in the tip. You got to shake it down and then it'll come out again. And maybe I use, oh, I don't know. I love the color shifter. Can you see it's one color there and it's a different color there. I don't know if I can get the, oh, look at that. And then look at that. Two totally different, there and then there all out of one alcohol ink. Amazing. And then maybe I'll throw some of my, this is a metallic. They're calling it metallic pink. And I'm just gonna let that go into that and kind of move it around and let it do its thing. And if I wanna thin it out a little bit, that's where using a little bit of alcohol, I can drop some alcohol in here and it'll make everything kind of re-energize and it'll let me move it around again. Ooh, that was a lot, Stacy. Okay. Ooh. 
and oh this is just dancing like heaven Look at it just, look at it, can you see it dancing? And I'm gonna let it blend all together. I'm just gonna have it blend and, and when it's blending, it's making its own colors and I'm gonna let it go this way. And then I'm gonna let it go this way. And then if I want to, I can make it move around a little bit and spread out a little bit faster. Make it move, move, move. Ooh. And then maybe I'll just put a little bit of, maybe just a little bit of the blue around the edges. Oh, nope, that's not the right blue. That's the neon blue. No bueno, I got no blue there. Let's use the, is this the metallic blue? No, that's the neon blue. I got two. Oh, that is the metallic blue, but I didn't shake it. Oh, good for you to see. So there's the metallic blue, but I forgot to shake it. And because I forgot to shake it. Oh, look at the difference. Because I forgot to shake it, it's just blah. Now I know you're thinking it kind of looks like a hot mess, Stacy. Well, it does. I'm okay with a hot mess. I love that blue. I think I'm just going to go a little bit around, a little bit around, a little bit around. Kind of move it in and out. And as they're, as they're squishing into each other, they're making their own colors. Okay, so have I made it a hot mess enough for you? Like, I'm not so sure about that. Well, neither am I, but all we can do is play, right? So, I took a die. I took this die. It's my fish. Right? I'm gonna let this sit over there for a little bit. I'm gonna bring over my, I'm going to do it with a matte gold, too small, a matte gold, cut it, bring it over, multi-purpose platform completely closed. Precision base plate, metal side up, whether it be a black flat metal, this kind of polished metal, or a chrome one, which is the new version. This is like version two, I think. Or maybe this is even version one. My die, my, my paper, my die with the ridges against my paper. And remember, this is the vinyl that is a sticker on the back. And I'm gonna roll it through. Creaks and cracks are okay. I'm going to send it right on through. Creaks and cracks are fine. And then I'm going to bring it back. I didn't really rotate this one because I know that this vinyl cuts super easy. told you cuts super easy now I'm not gonna sit here and get all the little bits and pieces out I mean my head wants me to but but again by the magic of TV although gosh I really want to do it by the magic of TV I have one that's already done where I have already pulled out 
almost all the little bits of plastic. Ooh, still a little wet. Let's see if I can get this dry a little bit more. I used a lot. I think Doris and Claire and Elena are like, what are you doing, girl? How much ink are you using? All right, well, I'm gonna go for it. Look at the metallic to it, the glitter in it, and the metallic, they blended so beautifully. I'm gonna pull off my sticker backing. Wish me luck on that. Let's find the easy place to do it. Ha. Huh. So all I did was make my own peel off sticker. No different from the sticker I used. Okay, very sticky to me very very sticky to me i need to get some kind of moisture on the back so that it's not so clingy to me let's get some moisture on the back Ooh. okay so baby wipe get a little bit of a baby wipe on the back i can't help it spit works and it's handy. I've got it with me all the time. Little bit of spit. Moisture, whatever you'd like to call it. Oh, I'm just making a hot tangled mess. Yes, I did. Okay, let's start with the big fish. And let's see if I can figure it out as I go along. So, let's get that little guy out of there. And that little guy out of there. Okay, so fish. Hello, fish. Let's get you down and then let's untangle you. Could I have picked a harder one to do? But I want it to be beautiful when it's done. Holy smokes, artichokes. Okay, so that one's down. Now let's see if we can figure out how the rest of them is all tangled up together. Or not. <laughs> Holy smoke, Stacy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. So there's down. He is definitely twisted somewhere. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe we're just gonna have to go with the one that we just did. Let's see if I can get him off easier. And maybe I'll put him down in order. And instead of peeling it all off at one time, I'll peel him off in pieces. Or maybe we just cut another die. <laughs> okay, so if I start here, and instead of taking him all the way off, right? Start here, and instead of taking him all the way off, I take him off slowly. so as not to tangle him. And yet I'm still tangling him. Mm. 
Nope, not gonna happen. Great idea. We'll die cut something else. What else I got over there, Stacy? <laughs> That's gonna drive me crazy. <gasps> Ooh, what else do I have that I can die cut with? Um, how about a lovely, let's see if we can get the tree out. Love my fish, but holy smokes artichokes. Let's see if we can get my tree out. Okay, I need another piece of gold. Cut. See, this is where most people would shut down their computer, or shut down their, their video, or well, they would keep going and they'd just do it again and edit it out. But there is no editing in my YouTubes. Oh, no, no, no. What you see is what you get. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wanted those fish so bad. Oh. Okay. Put it in, close it up, put it down, run it through, run it back, easy peasy. Bring it over. Do I stand a chance? <laughs> well, let's get rid of the big piece first. Let's try. Maybe I should have stuck with a small butterfly. Come on. Ta-da! It's still kind of stuck together though. I still got pieces that are intertwined. I should have picked easier dies. Figure it out. Down. Down. Okay, let's see if we can just get that little piece out. Nope, I'm still not gonna be able to do it. Holy smokes, artichokes. I needed to pick simpler dies. Not so many curly cues to them. Shall we go for a third? You think this one's any better? Think that's any better? I don't know. I'm not a quitter. Ooh. Peel it up. God loves a trier. At least you're seeing how to die cut if you didn't know how before, because I'm not going to stop until I get one out. And die cut through. It die cuts like a dream. My dies are just too, oh, this is every bit as much as intricate as the other one. <laughs> I really need to do less intricate dies. <laughs> oh, Stacy. <laughs> yeah, no can do. All right. <laughs> So, it die cuts beautifully. Getting the die straight is all about your own talent. Mine's not so much. <laughs> but we're still going to make lemonade out of lemons. I'm not going to die cut again, I promise you. No, what we're going to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, no editing. It is what it is. What we're going to do is we're just going to grab some pretty little butterflies, right? And these are peel-offs already done. Waha. And I can just put that one there and 
What do I have here? Oh, and I have this here. And I can put... I can put this one... can get him up still. Oh yeah, he's not down yet. So let's pull him back up. See, they're hardy. And let's put him, let's put him there instead. Ha! Okay. Like it never ever happened, right? In fact, I even think I'm gonna take that down a little bit more and actually cut off some of that. and cut off some of that and cut off some of that and cut off some of that By George, it only took a half an hour, but it's done. Oh! <laughs> and how many of you are still with me? If we're live chatting, we just went from like 500 to two. <laughs> but God loves a trier and I am not a quitter. <laughs> you have to know that you can do this and if you make a mistake, okay, just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, and my lines are still not straight, and that's going to drive me crazy. But it does look amazing against that black, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks fabulous. The black plastic is just sheer happiness. Truly it is. And it just gives you the opportunity to do whatever it is that makes your heart happy. But if you did want to use Upo, could you use Upo? Sure you can. The Upo makes the, <laughs> makes the neons look like rock star. So I could start with a little bit of my alcohol, put it on my Upo. Just kind of get some down there. That's just going to give my alcohol ink some room to move and grow. And then I could put some of my orange. And then maybe a little more alcohol to make it move and grow. And some of my, should we do the blue? Do we dare do the blue? That's the metallic, I want the neon. Let's try the blue. It's only paper. You can see how one bottle is gonna go a really long way. Just for good sake, let's throw some yellow in because we can. I mean, can you really ever have too much neon? Not according to Mr. SMS. You should have seen his orange shoes the other day. Truly, they were as neon as this. So now it kind of looks like I got a hot mess going on, but I'm gonna be okay with that. And I'm gonna move some of these colors here and there and everywhere.
And no, they may not have blended perfect, and my green and my blue made purple, and my purple made brown, and I'm okay. You see it growing and getting bigger and moving and splattering and... Ooh, okay. Mm, that's a lot of color, right? <laughs> that's a lot of color. I could come back in and add some alcohol. And if I do that, that again, it's gonna let those colors move again and it's gonna lighten them and it's gonna expand them and it's gonna make them grow and it's gonna make them soften. It's gonna give you depth of color because where that alcohol has touched, it's then gonna lighten those alcohol inks and make them move again so they're not quite as, um, as deep in the saturation of color. Are we good? Are we happy? Are we thinking meh? I want my neon. I made just about every color in the rainbow here. All right, now what to do with it? Well, I could take, I do have this one cut out of paper. <laughs> I could take and grab my sticky sheet and put my die down. And burnish, burnish, burnish. there. And then I take here. I just put that over here just to finish out the little, just to kind of finish it. This is on Yupo. What was a hot mess with those neons? Ooh. And if I wanted, I could blend those colors even more. In fact, I could take and just add a little bit just a little bit of shimmer if you wanted. Just kind of through the background. Just a little bit of shimmer. And that way when somebody moves it, it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. And I could just take that nose of that shimmer, of that glitter, kind of move it around and get it in there. Ooh. Okay, I'm happy. That looks very springy, very happy, makes my heart happy, and it's using Yupo. Can you see the colors smooth out and blend out? They are just beautiful on the Yupo or the craft plastic. They just make magic. They just do. When you give them the chance to just go and do their thing. Oh, let's still throw some white in there.
when you give them a chance to do their thing, they make magic. It's about letting your heart be happy and not being afraid. To just let them be. Look at how it's smoothing out. You want more bling in it? Throw some bling across the top. And move. You want more pink in it? Oh, I like this pink. Now this was the metallic. And see how it came out? Let me shake it. And now look at how it comes out. And it's okay to let them move and blend into each other. And then decide what you want to do with it. It's hard. You've got a lot of choices. Look at it dance in there. Okay, we did a lot. Honest to goodness, we did. Some of it we didn't mean to do, but it happened anyway, and we just decided to go on and continue forth. Oh, shake, shake, shake. There we go. And I haven't used any of the alcohol. I could throw some alcohol in there and really make it move. Look at it. When you add the alcohol, it just really make it move. You have so many options with these and the colors. The colors are amazing. And you can do this. They're very, I, I'm, I'm telling you, we've got them at 30% off. They're inexpensive for what they are. And if you don't have the opportunity to die cut, okay, don't. You can color them. Remember, I colored these with the little coloring sticks. And I just picked up that ink and put it down. Super cute. And, and, and the tree. I was able to make the tree with a die cut. Easy to do. Beautiful. And that was on the sticker, on the vinyl. This was on the vinyl. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, you can buy the sticky vinyl and you can buy the peel off stickers and make beautiful things. Then I used the, the, the craft plastic. Would have liked to have used one of my die cuts, but that didn't happen. But that's okay. I grabbed one of the inexpensive peel off stickers and did it. You like Yupo, you like the look of Yupo, you want those super bright, majestic colors coming through on that neon, done. So you want an Aurora Borealis, <laughs> done. <laughs> okay, holy smokes, what's for sale? Well, okay, all of the alcohol inks we have for sale. There's 14 of them. There's an I want it all for the neon, the I want it all for the metallics, and I want it all for the glitters, and then an I want it all for all 14 of them. I've got the vinyl on sale. So we've got white, and we've got black, and we've got matte gold, and we've got matte silver, and we've got shiny silver, and we've got shiny gold. I've got Yupo in a couple different sizes from Couture Creations, and one of them is a self-adhesive Yupo. Didn't even play with that today. Self-adhesive Yupo. I've got the little bottle. Well, I've got the little, this guy on sale. And I've got my little bottle wherever it is to hold your alcohol because this is a really nice way to hold your alcohol. All of that's on sale in the YouTube Yummies. Oh, and the cute little, the cute little doodads. Sorry, Andrew. I don't know what they're called, but they're doodads to me. All right, samples. Let's talk samples because they're beautiful and it's late. Okay, first off, who I've got a hot mess on my table. A pair of earrings, very light, made out of craft plastic. I mean, that's made out of the craft plastic. Because it's not paper, you can do things like this. Super light, very effective. Canvas, uh-huh, little canvas. 
darling, right? Hold your horses for this one. Are you ready? That's not a sticker. That's the alcohol ink. And what's cool with these little with these little doodads is that you can take the black and you can pick the black up to trace the outline. You can do that with these little the, the little um the little I don't know doodads, blending brushes. What no they're not blending brush, a blending tip, but you can go in there and pick up a color to put in detail. Beautiful. This is stunning. Beautiful. Stunning. Very similar to what I did, only she did it better. I think this is Claire. <laughs> Claire's came out a little, well, she used the metallics and you can see the metallic in it. Isn't that gorgeous, just using silhouettes? And I know that this is, this is my dye, I think. Could be wrong. How cute is this? These are little pieces cut. So alcohol inked, stamped with the, uh, there was an alcohol ink piece that got stamped with a stamp and then cut up into little squares and then put down to make the pattern. How pretty is that? Stunning. Alcohol ink. The new colors are vibrant. Oh, all Doris did was make a background, stuck a ribbon on it and a sentiment. That's all she did. And then, then we had the discussion. It's a shell. <laughs> I had this on Facebook. What do you see? It's a, was it a conch shell? And the sand and the water all done with alcohol ink. Uh-huh, amazing. When you have those little, those little, these little doodads to be able to decide where you want color, oh, it makes your life so much easier. Look at that. The color is so wow. And then I've got a few more. Cute little tag. Beautiful tag. Look at the color. And again, to me, white is super important. You need that white because that lets you change the saturation of all of your alcohol inks. That white is so important and it allows you to use alcohol inks that are non-metallic or non-glittery on a dark surface. Are you ready for this one? Stunning, right? Hold on to your hat. They just get better and better and better. That dragonfly is beautiful. The colors are amazing. And here, this is done on a tile. On a tile. It adds dimension and texture to your card. Just an inexpensive tile. Easter's past, but how cute is this for next year? And again, we have a stunner. All done with the new colors of Marabou Alcohol Ink. The neons, the, pas uh, the, the metallics, the glitters, and the white.
Are you loving them? So this, these were made, this card was made using the leftovers from that card. <laughs> So all the little hearts in this card came from the fallouts out of that card. Two for one. It's a twofer. All right, you guys, I'm down to my last sample. Oh, I hope you had a good time today. I'm sorry about my peel offs. I should have picked dies that were not as intricate. Oh, my, my, my die cutting did not was not stellar today, but that's okay. You see how to make lemonade out of lemons. All right, I'm gonna tilt on up and then I'm gonna tilt back. What do we have? We have the Marabou alcohol inks. We have the Yupo paper. We have the craft plastic on sale. We have the little, the little squish, 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 and the doohickeys on sale. We've got the bottle on sale. We've got the peel offs on sale. We've got the vinyl sheets on sale. So something for everybody, even if you are the most experienced crafter ever, hopefully you learned something new today. Where do you find all of this product? Well, definitely from the alcohol links, it's me, Scrapbooking Made Simple, Marabou. They gave them to us first. Thank you so very much. And well, the rest of it, maybe you can get at your local store. And if you can, Wahoo could choose shop there first. But if not, we're here and we appreciate all of your support during all of this that's been going on. All right. It's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Ah.